Welcome to a video on the area of a triangle using Heron's formula. The goal of the video is to determine the area of a triangle from the length of the three sides. So if we have any triangle with sides of length A, B, and C, and we let S equal the semi-perimeter or half of the perimeter, then the area is going to equal the square root of S times the quantity S minus A, times the quantity S minus B, times the quantity S minus C. Now this formula can be proven using the Pythagorean theorem, but in this video we're just going to look at some examples on how to apply this formula. Let's go and take a look at our first example. Here we want to determine the area of a triangle with sides of length three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters. So the area is going to equal the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. So let's go ahead and let A equal three, B equal four, and C equal five. Remember, S is the semi-perimeter or half of the perimeter. So let's go ahead and find the value of S. It's going to be one half times the quantity three plus four plus five. That's going to give us one half times twelve, so s is equal to six. So now we can go ahead and apply the formula. Replace s with six, a with three, b with four, and c with five. So we're going to have the square root of six times six minus three times six minus four times six minus five. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We have six times three times two times one. Well, this is going to be six times three is eighteen times two is thirty-six, the square root of thirty-six. So the area of this triangle with sides length three, four, five centimeters is equal to six centimeters squared. Now I'm not sure if you recognize this, but a triangle with sides length three, four, five is a right triangle. Where the shortest leg would be three, the longest side would be five, the hypotenuse, and in this case the height would be four. So using the traditional area formula for a triangle, area equals one half base times height, we could verify the area that we found using Heron's formula. It'd be one half three times four, which of course is also six. Now remember to use this formula here, we do have to find the height of the triangle. And we lucked out here because it was a right triangle. But what's special about Heron's formula is we don't have to have the height and it doesn't have to be a right triangle. We just have to know the length of the three sides. Let's go and take a look at one more example. Here we have a triangle with sides of length eight, 14, and 16 inches. Just to keep things organized, let's go ahead and call this A. We'll call this B, and we'll call this C. Let's go ahead and write out here on's formula. The area is going to equal the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. So let's go ahead and determine the value of S, which is half of the perimeter. So we're going to have one half times the quantity of eight plus fourteen plus sixteen. It's going to give us one half times so it looks like we'd have this would be thirty plus eight, so we have one half times thirty-eight, so our semi-perimeter is equal to nineteen. Let's go ahead and apply our formula. The area of this triangle is going to be equal to the square root of nineteen times nineteen minus a, which is eight, so nineteen minus eight times nineteen minus b, so nineteen minus fourteen, and then lastly we have nineteen minus c, and C is 16. Let's go ahead and simplify this. 
We have 19 times 11 times 5 times 3. This product is 3,135. So we have the square root of 3,135. Now depending on your class, you may need to write this in simplified radical form or just get a decimal approximation. To simplify this, we want to determine if this has any perfect square factors. So let's go ahead and make a factor tree and see what we have. It ends in five, so it must be divisible by five. That would be five times 627. Now the sum of these digits, six plus two plus seven, that would be 15. Remember, if the sum of the digits is divisible by three, so is this number. So this breaks down into three times 209. Now 209, it's kind of a tough one to break down, but I know that 11 times 20 would be 220, and this is 11 less than that, so it's going to be 11 times 19. Now notice 3,135 does not have any perfect square factors, therefore this does not simplify. So the best we can do here is get a decimal approximation. Let's go ahead and do that. So second x squared, 3,135. And it looks like it's approximately 55.99 square inches. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful.